By the way, this is for your eyes only. This is not, I'm not going to see this. The person next to you is not going to see this. It's not a tactical activity. This is truly all about you. Your spouse won't see it, so if they're not one of the things listed, that's okay. All the very good left. So, what was going on? I don't understand. If you guys understand one day, just like I would.
resources we need. Now, this is very important for those of us who are in house right now. Because you have to identify what are the resources that you need to make this happen for yourself. So 
So what motivates us? This first column, there are like five columns. All right? As a matter of fact, I'll get some, some group participation here. What was the first column? Those achieved. Those achieved. Some things you've already achieved.
reason why a lot of people don't achieve goals is because one, they're not that's they're not sold on in the first place. That's one reason. Another reason why people don't achieve goals is because some of the relationships they're involved in. I met some good people in my life, and unfortunately, they let other types of people distract them from achieving the things they want to achieve. I want you to flip your sheets of paper on the back, over the back. And I want you to write down, even if you just walked in, because this will be useful for you too. Because you need to know what type of relationships you have. I want you to write down all the things you have going on right now in your life. What's on your plate? What's going on? Everything is going on. All your commitments, all your relationships. How are you using your 24 hours? How are you using it? Some of us spend our 24 hours in a lot of meetings. How you saying the things? Some of us spend our 24 hours recruiting, coach. Every day we hustling and hustling. Every day we hustling out there trying to get a winning team. Who's your winning team? Who are these people? How do they affect your progress? All of you say you have goals, but my question is, are the people in your life right now helping you achieve those goals? Are they just dead weight? <laughs> people are laughing because they might have a little bit dead weight going on right now. It's look natural, right? Okay, that's not natural. Who are these people? Are, are you still friends with these people because of longevity? All I've known is since high school. I, I deserve to be loyal to them. I don't think I talked to anybody, one person from high school. And there's a reason for that. It's not because I think I'm better than them now. They're talking about the same old stuff from back then. I moved on. And that's what you'll find when you start trying to achieve your goals. You'll find that as you move on, Sometimes the road gets a little bit more lonely and lonely. That's a fact. But it does not mean that you don't care about these people. It just means that you're trying to try for more. I had this issue myself a lot uh, a few years ago. I remember when I moved to Massachusetts. I went to Massachusetts. I went to the University of Massachusetts to get my master's degree. I felt really guilty at first. Because it felt like I was leaving everyone behind, including my family. I wasn't okay with that the first year. I had to come to terms with, it's going to be okay. And I had to make room for new relationships, for new friends, for people who I actually had more in common with at that particular point in my life. See, a lot of times we hold on to people because of the past, because, again, we put so much time in relationships, but they may be detrimental to our progression of our goals, our hopes, and our dreams. How many of you by a show of hands have ever been told that you couldn't do something? How many of you have ever been told this by someone you actually cared about their opinion mattered in your life? See, it's one thing, it's one thing for maybe a complete stranger to tell you, you can't do that. But it's quite another when maybe your parents tell you that you can't do something, or uh, the person that you're in a relationship with tells you that you can do it, or one of your close friends. I've had it happen to me before. And so at that point, you have a decision to make. Do you listen to these trusted people, these people that you have, that you actually love? Or do you just go on course and say, you know what, I'm going to do it in a way. Because I believe in what I have to do. I believe in my mission. One well, of the tough decisions I had to make, and at the time, I had some people very close to me tell me they didn't think it was a good decision. But I ended up leaving my last job to pursue what I'm doing right now. Not easy. Because I didn't know what was waiting for me. It took 
Obviously, a lot of faith, but it took belief in myself, most importantly. And so in that fashion, we're no different. Because what you're attempting to do right now is to sort of be something that you don't know what the outcome will be. You believe that the outcome will be a great outcome, but you don't really know. You don't know what type of obstacles you want to face, but you don't also don't know what type of rewards you actually want to face too. And there are many. There are many rewards out there facing you. But you gotta be willing to take the first step. Life is all about risk. It's not about playing it safe. Because you know what? You know what? Because no one can make it out of life alive in a way. So why not go after what you really want? Why settle? We get to do this one time. I don't know for a fact scientifically that there is an afterlife. I don't know. None of us know really. We just believe. But we don't really know. But we know we're here right now at this moment. We have to go after what we want until we get it. That's the difference between us and animals, by the way. Other animals. They don't think that way. Hey, birds fly south in the winter because they just do. Dolphins swim in the ocean because they just do. We have a decision to make every day. We're faced with three things. You might want to write this down. Three C's. <clears throat> Challenge, choice, and change. Challenge, choice, and change. These three things our experience today. When you woke up, you had a what? You said challenge? <laughs> it can be. It can be. I was thinking more of more so the commute to get here. That was maybe maybe the challenge. But the choice, the choice was, do I stay in bed or do I go to class? Or the choice was, do I come here today and listen to this guy? I have no idea who he is, but maybe he has something that can actually impact my life. And of course, change. Every day is different. Every day brings something different to the table. I don't like the fact I'm getting older. I wish I could stay. I wish I was still in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm no longer in my 20s. I know I look like I'm 25. At least to me, I, I believe that. That's just my own Probably, probably not that. Um, but change happens for everyone. We cannot stop change from happening. But we have to make adjustments uh, as these changes take place. So as you look and think about what you've written on your sheet of paper, are these people, this question is more so for you guys if you got here a little early, so you got to see the cool activity. Are these people helping you or hindering you from achieving your goals? I'm not asking you to ask that question to me. These are things you need to know. Because if they're not, then you need to reevaluate how you want to spend your time with them. Most people trade money for time. But really, money versus time is no equivalent. Because you can always make money. What you can't do is you can't always make time. You can't always get time back, is what I'm trying to say. So your time is very valuable. And this time, I wanted to say thank you all uh, for being here. Now, we're not done. Oh, no. It's Mr. Andrew, it's this clock. Wait a minute, brother. You say you're going to do an hour. We just want to shake things up a little bit. Some of you, I know, you haven't had your coffee this morning. You're still a little sleepy. We'll just change up a little bit. I want everyone to stand up for me.
go, Jennifer. <laughs> Because they help you with your resume, they give you mock interviews, they give you 
certain assessment tests. They have inside information about you know who may be hiring, when, what you need. Where is that place on campus? Student services. Student services. What room? What where where at on student service time? Student service time. The first floor. First floor. Everyone got that down? Everyone write that down? Okay. Now some of you may be wondering to yourselves, I don't get it still. I don't understand the methodology of all of this. How many of you here are football fans? How many of you like football? Alright. See, yeah, I see a lot of women, not, not just not just the guys, everyone likes football. Alright, I'm gonna make this real simple. I'm gonna bring this down real simple. I need some volunteers to make this happen. So all you can just raise their hand, they gotta come up there and assist me with this activity. If you raise your hand, please come to the front. You should have raised your hand, not come to the stove. Thank you. 
show form and fashion. And so you have to have the right team around you to ensure success in college and in life. And with that, I think I'm done. I got no more minutes. Good? All right. Good. With that, I'm going to stop there. And I want to say, give these, uh, these team, my team members a, a round of applause, please.
achieve goals because they don't have, they feel like they don't have the, the proper resources. But some people achieve goals in spite of having the resources. We all hear about those stories. Uh, people not growing up with much, but in spite of not having much, they still find a way to make it. You know, some people say, I didn't grow up with a father in the house. They still find a way to make it. So we can say to say that just maybe with whatever obstacle you're facing, you're not getting there, it's really not an excuse. Because someone else is able to do it. In spite of maybe not having a certain resource present in their life at the time. My belief, my belief is this. We do, in fact, live in the greatest country in the world, in the greatest time in history. I go that far with it because we are. We are living in truly exciting times. There was never a time in history that you could actually talk to someone face to face over the phone that was on the complete opposite side of the world. Or that you would actually go to information from someone like Wikipedia. And whether that's true or not, it's another story. But we all got a source that we can go to now. We cannot be accused of just not knowing. Just do a search. And then start doing more search. Do the research until you feel like it's right. Or until you get it right. Right in this country in the world, Best time in history. I think everyone should, should be able to achieve most of their goals. And the last one, and this is the most important one. One, my T.O. nephew likes to ask me all the time, why? Why, 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 why? Why? Because I said so, that's why. That would have been funny had you laughed. But I thought it was funny to me. L O L. Let's keep it moving. The guys, they don't laugh. They just, they're tough. That's what we do. Because we don't want to show emotion because it might just make us look weak. Like make us look soft or something. Get made fun of later on. Really want to win, or do you just like look? Do you want to? What is it? Do you really want to win, or do you just like looking good as you lose? A lot of folks out there like that. <coughs> They're more concerned with how they look as opposed to the actual result. But when I ask the question about why, what's the motivation behind it? This is important because you're going to go through a lot of challenges to get your goals. That's just the way it is. When you're on a plane, you got to go somewhere. You go through this thing called turbulence. And usually that happens as you're starting to ascend in the air. It's a little rocky sometimes at first. And eventually, it starts to be okay. So knowing your why is going to be very important because as you're going through these challenges, you're going to have to know why you're doing it because that's what's going to keep you focused. When I was in developmental classes in college, it was tough. What got me through because I just kept thinking about if I don't get through these courses, if I don't get a college degree, I am going to be doomed to failure. I'm going to end up in a situation in Landover, Maryland, where some of my friends, my child friends still are, because they didn't go to college, they didn't take the, the necessary steps to be successful. And I was going to become some type of statistic. I didn't want that for my life. I wanted more, I deserved more. Just like all of you in here, you all deserve more. And I'll tell you why, I know this. Because this is not just me saying this is a nice thing because you deserve more. I'm not just saying, I'm saying this because I know it's to be true. You, you believe this about yourselves, inherently. Here's 
why. Because all of us believe that we are stars. Think about it. Or your teens. <laughs> when you're fantasizing about your dreams, you don't fantasize yourself as being a tower boy or a tower girl. You fantasize about yourself being the person that hits the game winning shot or takes or makes the game winning home run or whatever it may be. In a movie, you think about you being the leading man or the leading lady. You don't think about being an extra. You already have it in you. You want to be successful. This is the question of how do you make that happen? Who do you surround yourself with? We all got the same dreams in that regard that we know that we are the superstar. So if you, you figure it, if you figure it out why you're doing this, why this is important, this capture really through one to two things. I talked about this in the last session. We're looking at it by two things in life, it's pleasure or pain. Always. When you talk to a girl, you don't, you don't talk to girls you don't deem attractive. You talk to attractive girls because it's pleasurable, right? And pain. If you got some new sneakers on, right? Are you going to go put them in the mud? No. What do you want when you put on new sneakers? You want people to say, man, those are nice shoes. Where'd you get those from? That's what you want. You want a certain reaction. Now, here's what I want to know from you, because if you are on route to doing the things you say you're doing, I need to know what are your existing relationships and commitments like. I want you to flip your sheet of paper around, I want you to write down everything you have going on right now in your life. All your commitments, all your relationships. I want you to write down your existing commitments. So obviously, many of you it is, I'm a student. I'm an athlete. Those are two major commitments right there. But let's get a little bit deeper. Let's talk a little bit about your relationships. Who are the people right now that's currently on your team that you feel need to be removed from your roster, your personal roster? I'm not talking about your teammates. I'm not talking about them. So if you don't like this person, you think they can do their job, that's not what this activity is about. This activity is about, let's talk about your friends. Let's talk about your boys. I was friends with a lot of guys when I was younger. And we had a great time, but they really don't have a place in my life anymore. And not because I somehow feel like I'm better than them right now. We're just not going in the same place. We're going in opposite directions. So if someone's not going in the same direction you're going, there's no point in you holding on to them. A lot of people get in trouble because the very thing that they're trying to hold on to very thing that's holding them back. You try to make it work. I remember, I tell you this, so I didn't tell this story in the last room. I was in love with this girl in college. I love this girl. There was nothing that this girl contributed in my life. Really. Just somebody I just really cared a lot about. And so at some point I had to come to the realization that this is not going to work. I kept trying and trying and trying. Well, maybe she'll change. I said, I'm kind of like what we say women like to do with men. They like to change them or something like that, right? That's what I was trying to do. I was in business trying to change her. She was who she was. And I was who I, who I am. And I didn't need that relationship. It took me a long time to get that done. And so I want you to think about your own relationships. And I'm not saying to you, don't say to one told you to, to do this. I didn't say this. I'm just asking you to re-examine how these relationships help you reach your goals. Because some people can be what you call vampires. They're just taking, 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 taking. They don't give anything. They don't add any type of value to your life. And I think that's one of the main reasons why some people don't achieve some of the goals uh, they want to in their life because they don't have the right support group. And we're going to talk a little bit about today about getting that right support group. 
on your side. So you need to know. And just because this person over here, this is not exempt for your relatives too, because just because they blood, just because you, you know, they're born uh, in the same house as you're born in, does not necessarily make them always the best person to be around either. He has a gift too. He has a, he's letting everyone know that he has a gift. 